So tell me about what happened with the fire. Well, I'm, I got a call um, telling me that it was something bad happened on 25th Street. And <clears throat> when they found out, they called me, they told me it was a fire. So me, of course, calling my aunt, everybody, make sure everybody good. So when I got here, I seen a bunch of ambulance, you know, whatever. And they told us we couldn't go in the building. We had to wait to Clarence today, give us Clarence to go back to go in the building. 
Um, I heard somebody set something on fire in the building. I don't know exactly what. I don't know exactly what floor. But this is ridiculous, man. These people need to stop doing what they're doing. They got to think about other people besides themselves. If you bored, find something to, you know, occupy your time. Don't hurt no other body, you know, innocent people. It's crazy. I mean, that's all I can tell you, like. What was going through your head when you first heard about the fire happening in your building? People being injured. My aunt, my mom, everybody, you know, my family that, you know, that's here. It's just crazy. You don't want to wake up to that. And not, I know this is not a part of this, but today my friend just lost her brother on a bike. And then to hear this, my mom was going crazy. I was I was driving like a bat out of hell, excuse my language, to get here to make sure my family is okay. Is this sort of thing normal in this area? Have you experienced no, this before? No, no. This is the first time, yes. I've been living in this building since, 70, since 79, man. This is the first time I ever seen this like this. I was just saying I never seen so many firemen, you know, up close and personal. You know what I mean? To to come home and see all of this, yes, it's scary. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I hope that was good enough. For oh, that was great. I you appreciate can edit it. it too. Yeah. I hope everything's okay with your family too. Thank okay? you. Perfect.